I'm Dr. Alex from Allegheny Health Alexander, located in Hagerstown, Maryland, United States. I'm going to show you how we use village pasture. And so basically, uh, as a chiropractor, we treat a lot of lower back pain patients. And then we find out one thing after we go through all the you know, adjustment, relax the patient's muscle tensions and uh, all the stretching, strengthening exercise, we find that one part is missing, which is neurological training and balance training, which is so important because while you're in your daily life, no matter your walking, sitting, or just simply standing, your lower back play is so important. So you want to have your lower back to know how to perform the best on it. So we, that's why we introduced this balancing scene. As you can see, it's very mobile. Before this, we actually use the gym bar, and uh, which kind, kind of similar to the same thing, but this one is much better since the first you can have a very firm base. And then if you put it on a chair, you can have the patient to kind of like some protection, especially if you're using uh, either for home use or you use as a practice, and it's kind of give you the protection. So the reason why we want to train the neurological for the lower back and uh, for uh, the balance, a lot of times if you are suffering from lower back pain, that sensor is kind of compromised. So we're going to train that. The first step is very easy. You're just going to sit on this one, and you want to hold on the handle the first time because it could surprise you actually about how mobile this could be. So the first thing you're going to do is just, you know, play with it and uh, do you always get used to it. And usually it's going to take about two to three minutes for the most time having it in this office. And then we're going to let you just to be hands free. You can put your hand anywhere and just pretend you're watching the TV. You're not watching me or my assistant at the time. And then, you know, uh, the next one you do is you're going to actually tuck your pelvis backwards a little bit. Uh, we already went through this earlier on our rehab concept is that the first step, how you're engaging, that's called pelvic, posterior pelvic tilting, that's how you're going to engage in your, your core muscles, and then you're going to try to just lift one leg. It's hard, it's actually much harder to do it than you sit, especially on this chair. And then the good thing is, if you lose your balance, it's always hard to catch the hand. Then the next thing we do is we're actually going to throw a small ball with your back and force and then you throw a ball to them, they catch, and then go. Basically, while you're doing this, your lower back is self-adjusting itself. And uh, for all the your spinal uh, joints, all the paraspinal para muscles, they're all going to work together at the same time to find out what's the best position to do while you're Performing this one. The very last one, this time you do not throw a ball to the patients because they're going to close their eyes. So you're going to close your eyes, you want to know to spread on your chest, maintain a good posture on the upper body. This is a good time to use one of the flexes actually if you want to put it on them to have a good posture upper body too and then spread out your feet, try to lift one and try to maintain the position. You want to go up to 5 to 10 seconds. I can tell you, it's actually hard. Okay, this is the whole process of how we do this training for our patients, and so far it works out.